welcome back to the coverage of Pluralock here. They are crushing it on all fronts and have just accelerated their acquisition of huge contracts uh, in the month of October that is half over uh, to the tune of just shy of $23 million, uh, in contract value. Um, not to be mistaken for another company, this company currently is trading at an anemic uh, 35 million market cap last I checked, which is uh, again back in the significantly undervalued category. Um, just as of late, they partnered with CrowdStrike, which is the who's who in the cybersecurity space. And I think with every new uh, engagement with either new companies or existing clientele, only further deepens the value that is uh, not being realized and is due to be unlocked uh, within the stock market as this news here in our, uh, October has fallen in deaf ears in the in the market, not getting any reciprocation in the stock price whatsoever. Uh, it is important that we report out on those opportunities as I feel like uh, every day that goes by is just another day where it's presenting a nice buying opportunity. Uh, I'm back in the stock here. Um, my cost is just shy of 50 cents. Um, I'm happy to pay for an undervalued company that uh, is probably worth, for all intents and purposes, uh, double that value uh, as we speak. And if they continue to operate at this high level, knocking down these huge contracts and huge uh, collaborations with uh, these customers. It's only a matter of time but where the true value of Pluralock is going to be realized, uh, and we will be there for that ride, guys. So with that, let's kick into the press releases and cover what has already been a very, very busy October. So it was just the beginning of this year where Pluralock uh, looked to refocus their business uh, in leveraging their existing relationships to embolden their critical services business. And I just want to highlight the work that has been put in here in the acute in just October. We're halfway through the month and Pluralock has, um, has put four line items here on the, um, on the ledger here with the news releases. And it's quite impressive. It is um, really unbelievable uh, how this company continues to impress with their ability to knock down big contracts. Um, so the month is half over, really accelerated, knocking down their biggest contract. But I just want to jump in and, and look at some of the highlights of, of each of these and get an idea uh, of some of the highlights. Now, each of these I'm going to provide links to uh, so you guys can uh, look at these uh, independently. But uh, all the information comes off of Pluralock.com. Uh, follow the company, uh, sign up for their news releases, and um, you'll be happy to know that uh, they um, release these quite often. If you go back through the ledger for 2024 alone, um, these guys have put together a, a an impressive portfolio of contracts um, and for and for a small company um, that's sporting a market cap anywhere between 30 and, and 40 million. It's really impressive what these guys are doing here. But the the highlights here for the one point million dollar contract, um, this is this is really interesting. Pluralock to modernize the customer's identity and access management, configuration management, database infrastructure, and encryption infrastructure. Pluralock will refresh the customer's phishing training and reporting infrastructure and update the customer's uh, internal cybersecurity communications practices. So that one for 1.9 million, when we go back and we check the next line item, this is the big one. This is the one that we actually put the video out on because this is a, a big, big deal. Um, last year, uh, the company was able to, to generate just over 70 million in top end revenue. Um, this represents almost a third of that uh, in, in one whack. So what Pluralock here is doing is is impressive and I see no reason as to why they cannot continue to leverage their existing relationships. Uh, a lot of these contracts are being awarded through uh, Aurora Systems Consulting, um, which is now owned by Pluralock. So, you know, the, the, the network is there. 
uh, it's really up to Pluralock to to knock down these contracts, and we're going to be reporting out on every one of them. We just had to group them together here for October as it's shaping up to be a very, very impressive month, um, already a, mu a record month in the company's history, uh, and we're halfway through the month. So very interesting. And then the next one in the line item, Pluralock announces a $1.7 million contract an existing high-tech manufacturing customer. So that says a lot here in their ability to uh, exercise what Ian Patterson explained to be a, a very, very sticky relationship with their customers. It, it's not a one and done uh, and they move on and have to win new business. It's the opposite. Uh, to the contrary, these contracts, once they're, they're, they're knocked down and, and they get uh, to establish that business relationship, uh, with these customers uh, finds them in a place to, for not only return business but perhaps maybe even a scale up of existing business but uh, um, the customer first engaged Pluralock last fall uh, validation of Pluralock strategy of winning large high value customers and expanding those relationships by delivering consistent high quality services and solutions so you guys can take this what you will I, I look at this as extremely impressive and you know for a company that that's sporting such a light market cap of you know anywhere between 30 and 40 million these guys are putting together some sizable uh, contracts uh, with a, a multitude of different companies out there but this was the one that was just struck on October 10th and this is the one I really want to bring your attention to this is one that got named actually on CrowdStrike's website. It was announced through um, the mainstream media. It looked kind of odd uh, with CrowdStrike being a multi-billion dollar company uh, partnering with a, a company that right now is is undervalued by all intents and purposes, uh, trading on OTC markets at, uh, at U.S. 40, 48 cents or so. You know, so it looked kind of odd. But you really have to look under the hood at the um, top line services that these guys are providing um, and and able to attract uh, business the likes of CrowdStrike. And it doesn't get any better than this. Um, so again, I, I'll provide the link to this, but Pluralock and CrowdStrike partner to secure critical infrastructure and organizations. Pluralock critical services team to leverage the CrowdStrike Falcon platform, securing infrastructure critical to uh, democratic nations and economies with industry-leading AI native protection. So you can read between the lines here as to what this could potentially mean. I don't think that this has in store for Pluralock a future that is um, uh, any less bright than it was before this contract. In, in other words, this has got to get the market's attention, and this marks market's activity um, this um, this month has not been reflected at all uh, in the stock price of the company. This has been met with deaf ears. Uh, in the market and has really not moved the needle at all. Um, I, I think that the market is suggesting a prove it story here and that's totally fine. Um, how long that is going to persist, I do not know and I do not uh, pretend to know. Um, do I feel like now with the digression of the company that the company needs and deserves a second look? Because nothing has really stopped. Um, the, the stock went on an, an, a meteoric rise um, only to uh, come back to the levels that it is at right now. All the while, the company continues to impress both on the top line uh, monetarily, but I think more importantly, uh, their ability to leverage current relationships and knock down these sizable contracts uh, for new customers and existing customers alike. So we've come out of the press releases. Um, this uh, month has already shaped up to about a third of last year's entire year's revenue um, in 14 days. Uh, this accelerated pace is impressive. You can take it for what you will, guys. Um, but this company is working along a pace that is not indicative of a company that is trading just shy of 40 million market cap. It is not. Um, do you presume that the contracts are going to slow or continue on pace as we look back historically at the track record of Pluralock? 
it's taken many years for them to build up this portfolio of of customer backlog and they are leveraging that just like they said they would so very exciting times at Pluralock. I'd like to see a little bit more activity in the stock, but not until you have a chance to take a second look uh, at this company that is driving multi-million dollar contracts, it seems like every other day. Um, October is going to be great. Uh, you know, As we close out in 2024, where will this company end up? Um, what is in store for 2025? Um, we cannot expect the unexpected uh, out of Plural Lock, but I tell you what, they are delivering on all fronts when it comes to their contract and new customer acquisition. It is impressive to say the least, uh, and I'm proud to uh, call myself a share owner in the company and continue to report out on um, the very rapid progress that Plural Lock is making in the cybersecurity space. Guys, if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom of the video. We'd be happy to have you uh, as we continue this coverage of Plural Lock and their ability to knock down sizable multi-million dollar contracts with ease uh, and with some noted frequency. Guys, thank you so much again and good luck in your investment future.